We are back. Hello everyone. Welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Today's problem is merge case sorted linked lists which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So we will be given when array list of ARR and this array list will be containing the head of linked list. Okay, so basically this array ARR is a collection, is a list of heads of the different linked lists. Okay, all right, I understand this is a bit tricky, but I will explain it. So uh, this is what we are given and what we have to do, we have to basically merge these linked lists and return the new head of the linked list in which like um, let's suppose let's suppose this is uh, ARR array list it contains three linked list first one is this one two three second one is this four five and then five six and then seven eight okay so there are four linked lists of uh, four linked lists and their head will be given into my ARR of this okay so ARR will be containing something like first one is the node which is one so look this is the node this is not the just integer this is node 1 node 4 node 5 and node 7 okay and now this one can have any longer link list but that link list will be sorted in itself 4 can have 4 will be having another link list that will be sorted 5 it will be another link list which will be sorted and then 7 it will be another link list which will be sorted so like basically 5 then 7 then 9 and then for this 7 it is 11 in this way all will be the linked lists head and all of the linked list will be sorted in themselves okay and now our task is to basically merge these linked lists so that they remain sorted like we have to merge the linked lists and then sort it and then return the new head of the linked list okay all right i hope it will be a bit clear to you what i want to say uh, let's quickly understand it with example very very short example first one is this uh, let's take example first uh, is this one two four okay uh, this is first link list first basically first head is one and it is a link list and after that the next link list is three five six okay and then the another link list is two seven four so two seven and then four it is not possible because the linked list which we are given are all sorted in themselves given an array arr of n sorted linked list of different sizes okay so this two seven four is not allowed it can be anything like two seven let's suppose it's only two seven okay all right i hope it will be clear to you now and these are the linked list head and what we have to do we have to merge these linked list into one answer linked list and return the new head return the new head of the linked list by merging them by merging these and uh, the merge should be in sorted order okay so the output will be something like one then two then again two then three then four five six seven something like this i hope it will be clear to you now what i am trying to say and the problem statement will be very very clear to you okay all right so as the problem statement is clear now let's move on to the approaches which we can take okay the first approach is very simple i will make a priority queue i will make a min heap and i will fill all the nodes of these linked lists all the nodes of these linked list into that priority queue okay so our priority queue will be something like one this node will be there two node will be there four node will be there three five six two seven okay and now the priority i will set it with a comparator or whatever you we use in c plus plus in java we basically give the priority using comparator i will write the comparator to sort them on the basis of data in in increasing order okay and then we will pop the nodes one by one like one is popped then two is popped then again two is popped 
then three is popped i'm adding it to my link list new link list and returning the head at the last okay all right this is the first approach and i hope this approach will be clear to you as well the time taking the time taken time complexity for this approach will be let's suppose n is the length of this list and each list each node has m elements so time complexity will be n into m then log m n basically m n are the total number of elements of this uh, total elements of this linked list array like the arr total elements so we are sorting them and to solve them the time complexity will be n m log m n okay and the space complexity will be using like taking all the elements so it will be n m okay this will be the space and time complexity of this approach which is we can say the brute force approach as well okay all right now can we optimize this approach yes we can optimize this approach how let me tell you so instead of adding instead of adding all the elements to the priority queue what i will do i will simply insert the heads of these link list to the priority queue okay so now i have added one three and two to my priority queue okay now you should remember one thing these are not the values these are the nodes one three two these are the nodes okay and the priority is set of increasing order on the basis of data so a dot data minus b dot data in this way we will give the priority and when they will be stored they will become something like one two three okay so basically two is now here all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to pop one by one elements uh, from this priority queue so basically they will come out in sorted order first of all one is popped out okay when one is popped out one is removed and now this one i will say i will what i will do i will add the next of one to our priority queue so now two is added to the priority queue okay all right again what i'm going to do i'm going to again pop this two out okay two is added now what i'm going to do i'm going to add the next element of this two which is four so this is my current link list and now four is added to the priority queue something like here okay all right after that this two is removed from the priority queue and this two is of this third link list okay all right so two is removed the next will be added which is seven so seven is added okay all right again the new element this three is the now shortest one in this priority queue it will be removed three is removed three is added here and uh, now it's uh, next element three is next element is five so five will be added something like four five seven this new link list will be four five seven again four will be popped out so when four will be popped out add four here now four dot next is null so i will not add anything okay now only five and seven are present okay again five will be popped out so five will be added here in the new link list and now five dot next is six so six will be added to our priority queue in this way we will keep on going and we will get our answer i hope i have already explained this thoroughly and this approach will be very very clear to you now i am going to write the code but before that i am going i am uploading uh, daily job openings as well on this youtube channel the link will be in the pinned comment so make sure to watch that video and apply to the job openings asap okay all right and if you have loved the approach till this point please subscribe the channel like the video and comment down how was the explanation because i am it will really really motivate me okay all right so you have seen one thing i am not explaining the problem too much because then i will just give it served to you and you will not use your mind okay so please use your mind thinking why i am doing this why i am using this priority queue and all those things okay so let's quickly start i am going to use a priority queue and if you are using c++ the code is basically same the link the code will be on my github as well okay so priority queue of node is equal to new priority queue and here i am writing the comparator function ab and it will be something like a dot data minus 
b dot data okay all right so if basically look a b and a dot data minus b dot data it will be in increasing order if i want to so, uh, sort it in decreasing order i will write something like b dot data minus a dot data okay all right L remember this thing all right now simply iterate over this node one by one arr list of node and add the first nodes of these list into our priority queue so simply write pq dot add n. okay all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to run the loop till my priority queue is not empty something like this and coming out here i will first of all make a new head so node new head is currently null and tail is also null tail is basically the last element of the linked list because look i have to remember the tail then only the new element whenever any let's suppose my tail is this okay now the new element is this so what i will do tail dot next is equal to new element and now tail is pointing to new element so that when again new element comes i will again do tail dot next is equal to new element and tail is equal to new element in this way so that like we insert in link list from last only na? that's why i am using this all right i hope it will be clear so just pop one element node uh, tmp is equal to pq dot pole and now look if new head is null it means this is the first node so if new head is equal to null it means it is the first node so initialize my new head with uh, this tmp and uh, this tail is equal to tmp as well otherwise otherwise i have just explained you with diagram what i am going to do tail dot next is equal to tmp and uh, now tail is equal to tmp tail will be the last element every time okay all right now look very very another important step suppose i popped out two now uh, one is this four one is five one is seven now i popped out two from the from this priority queue so i will add two dot next which is three three will be added to the priority queue now okay all right uh, so i'm going to simply do if tmp dot next not equal to null it means simply add it to our priority queue pq dot add tmp dot next okay all right and when i will come out of this while loop here what i'm going to do i'm going to return the new head that's it guys that is it let's quickly try to compile this and uh, i hope this will be clear as well uh, because it's a bit easy next okay i've written next it should be next where i've written this mm, not able to find as a 99 line okay it is next something like this let's try to compile this meanwhile if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel like the video share it with your friends comment down and i think it is going accepted so yeah make sure to check out the job openings video as well link will be in the pinned comment it is getting accepted i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding keep on applying and bye